my dear students now we are going to look at uh, six variable k map the six variable k map will look like this so we will be using four four variable k maps we know we have seen the previous class we can convert two four variable k maps into five variable k map so in which case what exactly that we did is uh, we have converted four variable into five variable how exactly that we did is something like this what i try to do is i'll draw four variable first that i'll repeat the four variable once again to make it five variable i'll repeat the five variable to get the six variable okay so let's say the five six variables are a b c d e and f so in this case a b or m s b what we try to do is we can keep these four such that they are adjacent what is that is i take a bar b bar then a bar b then a b bar then a b so once again i draw the four variable k map this is also a four variable k map okay so what i try to do is i'll show you how exactly the six variable k map will be so what we try to do is we'll be combining the cells okay and in order to get a reduced expression so for these things the common the common way of writing this is a c d e f c d e f c d e f c d e f okay 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 similarly we can write the values 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right so by looking at a b values what i can say is it's like this can i show you a dotted line okay now i am putting everything in okay like we are putting it in what fashion here is let's say it is a and it is b 0 0 1 1 a 0 b 0 a bar b bar a 0 what exactly i can do is a 0 b 1 so what i need to do is just i need to interchange it so here i take a here i take a and here i try to b so this is a0 now this uh, actually what is this red dotted lines will show you two variable came map what we did with a and b we are forming a two variable k map and with c d e f we are forming a four variable k map now this four variable k map kept in each cell of two variable k map how many cells possible with two variable k map two power two total four cells so in each cell each one cell corresponds to four variable k map 
okay so what we can do now is we can write the numbering like as usual 0 1 3 2 4 5 7 6 okay 8 9 11 10 this is 12 13 15 14 okay next number continuation is 16 17 18 19 then 20 21 22 23 then 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 right next 32 30 33 34 then 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 next 48 49 50 51 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, okay, 63. Cell numbers, right? Now, whatever we have seen with respect to these two, which two? With four variable and four variable. Four variable and four variable that we have seen these two. How do we do the mapping? Okay. Just you lift this totally. You lift this and put it on this. Put on this. So what is combinable? Zero can be combined with sixteen. 1 can be combined with 17, 3 can be combined with 19. You lift it and put it on the other map. Okay. So this is called superimpose. Superimpose. If you do the superimpose, what you get is the why, why it is so. This is A bar, this is also A bar. This is B bar, but it is B. It is changing only by B. So, I can combine this cell with this cell. If I go somewhere else, there will be more than one change. Okay. So, what you need to do is take this map, take this map, put it on the other map. What is that other map is this one. Okay. Same thing is possible with respect to, this is with respect, I am talking with respect to row. It is also possible to deal with color. So what I am trying to do is, you take this, this one, you can take it. What about is this is, what exactly you can do is, this map, okay, this map, what I can do is, I can superimpose with the above map. This I can superimpose with the above map. I can superimpose with this map. Possible. Right? So, what you can do is you can superimpose and uh, you can go for the combinations where you can reduce the expression. What is superimpose is you lift it, put it on the other one. So what is that is you take this one and put it on the top. You take this one, superimpose on the other. You take this one, superimpose on this. Or you take this one and superimpose on this. Or you take this one. Either way you can superimpose. From here to there or there to here. Okay. If you superimpose on the other, okay, you will find 
the adjacent cells combined. So we have seen in a detailed way for a five variable KMA possible set of okay superimpositions or combinations. So what are the combinations we have seen? How to get a pair we have seen. How to get a pair. Okay. How to get four. How to get eight. How to get sixteen. Then how to get touched. Right. So here we are having total how many cells? Two power six. So sixty four cells. So within the four variable K map, what is possible we have seen. Each each cell is so what how do we form is two variable k map followed by four variable k map right so in a two variable k map this is a b so by itself is four variable this is four variable this is four variable so all the combinations within the four within the four variable k map we know already within the five variable k map we know already so what is six variable k map is it is a combination of four variable and five variable k map any cell is a four variable like that we have four cells whatever is there in this four cells can be combined with this is a cell with respect to red dotted line whatever is in every cell we have four variable so this whatever is there in one cell can be combined with another cell by superimpose so if you know how to work with four variable and five variable four variable if you are good with four variable okay if you are good enough with four variable and five variable then it is easy to deal with six variable okay so you need a knowledge of four variable you need a knowledge of five variable so we have i have already covered what is four variable k map what are the possible combinations that is possible we have also seen six we have also seen five variable k map so if you know about five variable k map five variable k map okay five variable k map what i can do is this five variable and four variable putting together you are going to get six variable k map okay so we will see more on this as we solve a problem